Hello, I am very excited to be showing you a brand new feature related to our Atom K7 Diagnostic Assessment. We have now linked Atom K7 to Khan Academy. After completing an Atom K7 assessment, a student who logs in will see this page. Clicking on the icon brings us to the specific student's Khan Lesson Assignment page. This page is generated from the detailed data produced by Atom K7. Atom finds up to 44 instructional points for students within K7 Mathematics. Across the top, we see five major strands of K7 mathematics, numbers and operations, measurement, data analysis, geometry, and algebraic thinking. If we look at numbers and operations, we see that Dwight has mastered a number of the subtests and not mastered some others. We scroll down to the bottom. We see the subtests that Dwight has mastered, numbers, place value, addition of whole numbers, subtraction of whole numbers, and division of whole numbers. If we go up to the top, we see the specific lessons that Adam has assigned to Dwight. If we roll our mouse over, we can see the specific constructs within each subtest. So within multiplication, we see multiplication's power of 10. A second lesson with multiplication's commutative, associative, and distributive properties, and so on and so forth. These lessons are all found on Khan Academy. If we look under the priority column, we see that some are labeled as high, some as low, and some have no label at all. The high priority labels are lessons that are below Dwight's grade level, and thus they are high priority since he needs to watch those in order to get up to grade level. The low priority lessons are ones within his grade level, and the ones with no designation are above Dwight's grade level. Now let's go ahead and click on one and see what happens. If we click on Khan Lesson 2, the video lesson on Khan Academy appears. Dwight can watch this lesson at his leisure, and then when he's done, he closes the tab. Closing the tab brings Dwight back to his con lesson assignment, and we now see that a record has been logged of his last view. In this manner, Dwight can go ahead and click on all the different con lessons and use Adam's lesson plan to guide him in his learning. Likewise, he can look at each of the tabs and see the number of high priority and low priority lessons that are assigned to him. Now let's take a look at what the parent or teacher sees. Once the parent or teacher logs in, they'll click on the Adam tab. When they go to a specific student, let's take a look at Dwight, and we'll click on the DI report, which represents differentiated instruction. The parent or teacher would select Khan Academy as the publisher and hit Display Report. This page is very similar to the student's assignment page, but instead this is really a log for the parent or teacher to view. Now for Dwight, we see all the specific lessons that were assigned to him. We can actually click on these lessons and view the lessons for ourselves. Now, of course, they will not affect the log because this log is only for Dwight. We can also print out this page and the full URLs are available. Just like the student, the teacher can click through each tab and see exactly which lessons are assigned. So this concludes a quick demo of how Adam K7 is integrated into the Khan Academy. Thank you.